You ever wonder why we do this? What causes us to want to travel? And why does it seem like an obsession? For many years, I did the nine to five. I did what I was supposed to do. I provided for my family. My wife did too. And then time went on and kids grew up. Eventually we became empty nesters and the whole world changed. We suddenly figured out over 20 some odd years that our relationship has changed. We were no longer a couple. We were providers. And when we didn't have to provide anymore, we became lost. We did our jobs. We did our nine to five. Came home to basically an empty house, some pets. And you could feel almost a tension And then we made this amazing statement. We needed to fix this. And we knew it would have to be something radical. And it was truly radical. We had a home. We've always had homes. We did what our parents taught us to do. Do our jobs. Have a home. Have reliable transportation. We did that perfectly. But for some reason, we weren't happy. In fact, it was probably a turning point of whether a long marriage and relationship could have even gone forward. But the radical decision was, we've got to change this pattern. So, somehow, we came up with the idea that we need to travel. And I had the means of a marketing business that actually generated income, so it wasn't like we were totally taking a risk. So we actually sold everything. And at the same time, bought another truck in our very first fifth wheel. Now, we had trailers and things like that before, but never did we ever consider traveling and living in one. And we were in a big neighborhood and believe me the looks we got the first time we pulled that monster behemoth machine into our driveway and started loading it with personal belongings long story short the house sold quickly we drove out that driveway for the first time terrified totally terrified And so, the first week or two, didn't know whether we were on vacation or if we were actually living. And nothing we did was familiar. Everything was different. Every time we woke up, every sound we heard, everything we did was different. We did not know how to proceed with a pattern at all. It was always different. And very quickly, we got kind of used to it. Suddenly, we discovered each other. We depended on each other. We found teamwork. We found goals. We found each other. And brought us closer than we've ever been since the time before children. And life is a tug of war. There's the pull of the old times of what we've been taught and the realities of money and the realities of recessions and things like that. And we had pulled right back into the routine again. So, some of it was because of necessity. And back we went to nine to five. 
luckily some of it had purpose. We had some things to fix, finances to uh, restore. So we were, put ourselves on a five-year mission. with the knowledge in our heads that all we could think of was getting back on the road, getting our independence, breaking the mold. That kept us going. And our goal was to reach 55 and then break loose again. So during that time, we prepared ourselves, made sure we lived a minimal life, paid off bills, Got out of debt, bought another rig, and the day 55 came, I retired from our aerospace company. My wife let go of her job, and we hit the road again. And all those beautiful feelings came back. Unity, teamwork the unknowing of what the next sounds were going to be or opening that door. We were back to traveling again. But we knew in the back of our minds it was going to be short-lived. But we said to ourselves, we'll take what we can get and be grateful that the good Lord let us have that. You see, a new ball and chain attached to our legs. It was called health care. We discovered we were too young to be seniors <laughs> and not old enough to get at least a government type of insurance. So we traveled as far as we could Sherry went back to work till we decided how we're going to deal with this situation. Because the problem is when you make so much money, the new programs that they have are not very cost effective. They're very expensive. And of course, when you get older, you probably realize you're not invincible. And so that's a pretty high priority. To not have health insurance, that could be tragic. But now there's a big problem. Not only did we get to travel once, we got to do it twice. And it's in our blood. So now, you have to be at the point of what's more important? And one thing I did realize, and I started really thinking about it, and it's about the future. Most of us had parents that said you would do this, and you do this, and you provide for yourself, and get a career, and buy homes, and have children. And we did that. We did it well. But even during those times, there was things that happened that were out of your control. You did not plan. You had no vision of. And when it was over, or you could say officially it was over, was there a problem? The answer to the future is, whatever future you choose, and it could be waiting for health insurance or not having health insurance or whatever you want to do whatever future you choose at the end of that decision whenever that could be you will make the applicable decisions that are you face from the consequences of your former decisions and you'll be just fine that's kind of hard to swallow but the thing is is we have only one shot at this life and I talk I'm several shows about going through life saying what if 
And I have other slogans where we say, what are you waiting for? And yes, I can say those things because Sherry and I are facing that same scenario. The only problem is, is we've tasted the wine. So I ask you, what are you waiting for? Thank you for watching our videos. Please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.